Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's see some of the scenario based interview questions. This would be a very short video. I have just uh, listed 5 interview questions that I felt very useful. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this TopMet. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys. Let's get started into the topic. So first one is how to enable concurrent sessions in one agreement. So normally concurrent sessions are like uh, how many uh, sessions can be created for the requesters. Uh, so under system, uh, normally these if you see under sysadmin, this is a we call college system. These are instances of uh, data admin system. From there also you can see. So you can see two instances are there. Example, this is Pega. Now you can see here right, development and all. So this comes from here only. Here you will say development uh, quality student staging production like that. So number of current uh, concurrent sessions allowed for each operator. So if it is minus one means one operator can have many sessions at a time. Uh, if it is minus one, suppose you want to limit uh, like uh, one operator should have only one concurrent session or two concurrent sessions at a time you can specify that respective number so in development that is fine to have so if you want some restrictions on the security base you can uh, enable this uh, with the design number based on our business needs and this is lockout also we can uh, specify for each environment and next question how to trace service rest or enable disable few of the services normally uh, many people uh, ask this question like how to trace service rest and all so before going to that uh, every service is linked to a element called a service package if you go to service package suppose this is one of the service package So in this service package, uh, there is option called as service monitoring. You will be uh, shown with the three options like off, on, as defined on the service row. So if you have some 10 to 15 service rest on your system and uh, each service rest uh, uh, is associated uh, with a common element called as service package. So if you want to enable few of the services to be traced and few of the services not to be traced, then you go to the respective services example. You can see uh, the public package name is application dev API. So different uh, package names. So for example, API, if you go here, you can see right service monitoring. This is off. So if I switch it on, then uh, user can able to trace this, uh, monitor this respective service rest. So you can uh, defend on the service rest level or if you want to override uh, and you want to log or uh, you want to uh, capture all the invocation history of the service packages, then you can give specify on. So if you want to capture clipboard state also you can click yes and if you click submit and you can see here this invocation history if you click this you can see instances so what is the request payload response payload and uh, how much time it has taken from which ip address it has been invoked everything related to the respective services so these are all the service rest individual services that are uh, mapped to this pack service package api and which is a database okay normally we know right uh, we have something called as spaces here so if you want to list out all the uh, pings of your into your respective space right once you have created that so we have some data page called as g underscore uh, pz uh, pins so this is uh, one of the useful uh, data page So this respect to the data page uh, loads all the pins that are uh, 
there for uh, the respect to user for the respect to the dynasty if you case and how to determine which device type we are so we know that uh, this uh, respect to application can be accessed from mobile or uh, desktop so based on the case example uh, you might get a request like i want to determine like if it is a mobile request or something normally if you go to clipboard under uh, system pages uh, the most important page px requester here uh, in the uh, px requester you can see px device type so you can see here this is desktop so by this also you can uh, differentiate whether the, it is a device type uh, is a desktop or a mobile and uh, yeah how to check operator is logged on or has operator uh, logged so this is one of the important uh, property you can say, uh, check on the operator page next how to change default font for operator cradle creating so normally uh, once you logged into the system right you can see everything in uh, Arial right so if you go to px uh, requester uh, here you can see some py font that is otb property you see py font type is Arial right so if you get a requirement like uh, for all the operators in your uh, application the font uh, name should be changed to any one of the otb font available in Pega. then you know you can go to this uh, respect to data page and the data admin operator id data admin operator id and here you can see data transform py default so in this uh, py default data transform you can see Arial pay phone name so you can uh, save this to your application or your organization level specific and you can give one of the font that is already available in pega and uh, so i'm listing out some of the useful otb report definitions px retrieval operators so this was under data admin uh, operators so if you want to retrieve all the operators in the system you can use this uh, otb report definition and if you uh, want a specific list of operators tagged to your respective work group, then you can pass the respective work group and you can get this PV work group members. This is also one of the OTB report definition. And uh, if you want to get the list of logged operators, as I have told, uh, this uh, PZ uh, has operator log. So you can uh, use this uh, PV, PZ uh, get logged operators and uh, you are having a work basket and you want to see the list of assignment details and you have a work list also but uh, commonly you want to see what are the assignment details that are there in the system then uh, you can go to assign dash class under the assign dash class we have this by assignment details this is one of the useful uh, report definition where uh, it will get all the web object key and uh, to whom the respective assignment is assigned and if there are any error messages the same error message can also be displayed so for reporting or some dashboard this is very useful for our application life cycle and if you want to see what are the list of problem assignments right uh, you can use this by problem assignments this is also one of the useful report definition under SN dash class. So, what is the assignment status and all you will be getting with uh, error. So, whatever the assignment status is with error, you can get all the list of this. So, this is about uh, this video, like I have listed seven useful uh, interview questions. We will catch up soon with an, another video in next 10 days another important thing to share is so for our youtube channel we have community tab in that community tab i have published many pega jobs or uh, polls like that and if any new video is there that also i'm posting over here so please do check out this community tab frequently so whatever linkedin posts or some personal posts uh, regarding jobs i would be posting in this 
Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. As it is free of cost, please share, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Share your knowledge as well in comments.